Hello, this is Andrew Ford for Photo Focus, and today we're going to look at tracking motion in After Effects. So here we have an aerial of a place in Morocco, some drone footage, and let's say we want to put a location graphic over one of the buildings and have it stay over it as the shot moves. So we will highlight the layer, and then we will go to Animation and select Track Motion. This will bring up our tracking box. Now our tracking box is going to need to be moved to the area that we want to track. So somewhere by the building we're looking to add this location graphic over. And we'll have to find a defining feature of this building that's easy to track. Here I'm looking at this black pixel on this building. The black area of the window is too large. The tracker could probably get lost or move around a bit in there. But that contrast of that upper black on white area looks pretty good. When the tracker comes up, please note that you can track position, rotation, or scale. In this case, we just need to track position of the drone footage. So we will analyze by hitting the play button and watch what happens. And as our tracker goes, it's looking pretty good. When it's complete, we can see this motion path that was generated, which looks spot on. If we hit the U button to look at properties that we've manipulated, we'll see all the tracking keyframes there. Saves us from doing this all by hand. So now what we want to do is apply this positional data to the location graphic so that the location graphic will move according to this data and therefore stay on top of the building that we are trying to track. So now we will bring this location graphic into our composition. Okay, that's a little bit too big. We'll scale it down. It actually doesn't matter where you move it in this case because in this example we're going to be applying the positional data. So what we will do is have that layer selected and we'll choose Morocco Aerial.mov as our motion source. That's our layer 2 that we tracked. And then next we will need to edit the target. The target is where this positional data that we tracked is going to go to. So when we click edit target, we choose our location graphic and then we hit apply. And yes, we will want to transfer the X and Y dimensions. And as you can see, it scooted our location graphic over to the building where we wanted to track. Now, one thing here is it centered it over that little black pixel on the building. We'd actually want this location tag to be above the building. So what we can do there is just click on position to highlight all the position keyframes so they all move together. And we will scoot this up so it is on top of the building. And we will see that our location tag is staying perfectly with the building, even as there's movement in this aerial shot. Thank you.